Hello, this is the uh, British Iron Works Centre uh, just outside Oswald Street, Shropshire. We're delighted and honoured to have Peter Walker here today from Shrewsbury, the famous sculptor. Peter has brought along with him today uh, a statue, uh, a sculpture of a bull. And Peter's here to tell us a little bit about the bull and what it inspired him to create this marvellous sculpture. Peter. What inspired you to create this wonderful piece of art? Thank you, Clive. Yeah, well, I do a lot of work from um, the artist George Stubbs. Oh, and I yes. look a lot of, of, at a lot of uh, animal anatomy. And even though it's abstract and it's, it's square and it has a cubist feel to it, the purpose of this sculpture was to look at anatomy and see how that anatomy can be abstracted. Oh, I see. So it's, uh, each of the forms that you see, each of the shapes, they actually relate to muscle groups within a bull, oh, and I do a lot of work around this with uh, with horses, with birds, etc. Yes, um, yes. And this one, as you see, with the different aspects when you walk around it, they actually uh, have to do with the power of those muscle groups or the fragility. So if you look at the face, for instance, you can see there's a lot of features, a lot of realistic features moved away. Yes, yes. But it's actually designed to depict the strength of the creature. Oh, wonderful. And you certainly get that feeling from it. When did you first create this particular sculpture piece? Uh, these were designed in, uh, it was one of uh, about six pieces designed in 2010-11. Oh, yes. Um, and they went off to Germany, to Munich and Germany for an exhibition. Mm. Um, and since then they've travelled around, been to Western Park yes, for an exhibition yes. and oh, just come back cool. from the National uh, Botanic Gardens in Leicester where they've been in an international sculpture exhibition. So. Oh, marvellous. And does the ball have a name, Peter? Uh, it's actually called Symphony for the Ball. Symphony? Yeah, and it's all about the power of the animal um, having uh, resonance, like yes. music. Yeah. And sculpture is very musical once you know the language of sculpture. So it's, it's, it's about those forms having resonance um, and, and rhythm and how they play together. So. Oh, fantastic. And Peter, what's the ball made from? What's Symphony made from? So this is uh, Corten steel, Corten, which is a yeah. form of steel which is uh, unlike mild steel or regular steel, even though it looks so it's rusting, it's yes. designed to get the colour of rust or to corrode, but uh, it, it will never actually rust all the way through. It's the same material used on um, ocean liners and tankers and things like that, so it, it permanently, and it's, it's a modern sculpture material used for about 50 years. Oh, very good. That's, uh, that's certainly very informative. Peter, what's, what's inspired you to, to uh, I mean, you've been exceptionally generous bringing it here to the British Ironworks Centre. What, uh, you're based in Shrewsbury. Mm -hmm. I th are, we the, are we the most local sculpture park to you, or is there anybody else that uh, you've got near you? No, well, the, the, the Midlands actually is, is quite limited on sculpture parks and places where people can go and see fine art. Yes. There's a lot in private collections uh, and places where you have to pay quite a lot of money to go in. Yes. And what's really interesting about the project you're doing here it, and the vision for sculpture is it's open to the general public and the point of being a public sculptor yes. and an artist who um, wants to exhibit work and let people come and touch it and feel it is to work with people like yourselves to actually no, expose it to the general wonderful. public. So um, it's a great, great place to come and bring a piece of work. No, fabulous. Anyway, I think that's, uh, that's described the piece, and we've certainly met Peter, and we are truly honoured to have him here, and we're going to celebrate Peter's work here from now on, I hope. Uh, and thank you for listening and watching this video. Thank you.